Hi everyone, it's Vanka and I have a card to share with you today and this is my entry to Marina's uh, um, challenge. She's uh, celebrating one year here on YouTube and I will link her channel below or the uh, link to her video of her challenge. So uh, hop on over and uh, make her a card because she has three wonderful junk journals to uh, give away as a prize and that's why I, I made this card because as many as you uh, know I am not a card maker. This is um, the third card I've ever made and um, I don't know why it's so hard for me to make cards and uh, I have to be honest, I don't like it, <laughs> but of course, um, practice, practice, so maybe I can get to like it someday, but I wanted to support Marina as a friend and also her prizes are fabulous, so I jumped into it. and. Um, what I have used as the card background is this paper pad from Tilda and uh, I have um, cut it to size 4 by 6 and uh, folded it so this is how it looks inside and I will write a note for uh, Marina inside here and um, um, you're supposed to make a card in your own style so I made, um, I commented and said my style was vintage and shabby chic and this is what I uh, came up with. And I have used uh, paper scraps uh, from my stash. I have a box with uh, all sorts of uh, tiny scraps and things that um, I always go through before I dig into, into something else. And... Um, um, I have layered some uh, papers here. This is some handmade paper, really pretty shimmery paper. And I have distressed the edges uh, with the uh, distressing tool from Tim Holtz and also um, used distress stain vintage photo. And these uh, beautiful die cuts uh, were gifted to me from Robin. Thank you, Robin. And um, here are some coffee dyed cheese cloth and uh, a couple of bling that and this leaf that um, Lily, Lily gifted to me and uh, just some tiny pieces of lace and these flowers were from my own stash and um, this is one of the stick pins I showed earlier and these papers are from um, Peon design so they can be um, taken out and at the back side I just glued on a little foam uh, piece uh, so she can take the stick pin out of here if she wants to and um, I had this uh, twine that I uh, got from uh, <clears throat> some packaging, uh, someone sent something to me and then I have this, <laughs> it's just a bead, um, uh, you know, the spacer from my stash and this heart says made with love and this is a metal uh, leaf and I made this uh, flower and there uh, are also a piece of lace behind that that I have colored with some um, distress ink and the twine goes around here and a couple of tiny beads that were laying around <laughs> and um, this leaf here is uh, very special and uh, maybe some of you have noticed I uh, usually uh, put one of these on uh, my uh, challenges, the one I um, um, participate in, because there is a speci special story behind this uh, leaf. It's 
from a necklace that uh, belonged to a dear friend of mine who passed away from breast cancer and I won't tell the story again but if you're interested I will link the video below um, where um, and that story is told it was from my first challenge here on YouTube before I started making videos myself so it's um, on Janet's channel where she reads my letter where I tell the story and um, Marina I will uh, of course send this to you and thank you so much for uh, the chance to win one of your beautiful journals I love your work and the rest of you click that link and uh, subscribe if you haven't and uh, send Marina a card. Thank you for watching. Bye.